Ladies and gentlemen, patients and carers, newborns and nearly corpses. Waiting times for this shoddy operation are currently in excess of seven months. Hold on to your pacemakers and laxatives for a show so hysterically funny that you are sure to suffer an involuntary bowel movement that splits your sides and requires your stomach be stapled to a chicken. Your doctors will see you now. Hello there, everybody. Hello. And welcome. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the latest installment in Staple to a Chicken's Uber Whiskey Politically Incorrect <laughs> Sketch Comedy Franchise. Please silence your mobile phones unless you want an unexpected suppository. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, photography is acceptable as long as you give us a silent flash. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> Martin, why is this year's show called Hippocrat Oaks? He thought it was clever. It was about Hippo Wedding, yeah? That's beautiful, actually. Imagine, the great banks of the Limpopo River, mudflats glistening, all the plump hippos in their finery, lifting on over here as over there, the father of the bride takes his white-clad daughter up the aisle. It's a tender moment. I'm tearing up. Yeah, I'm just getting visions of hippos in tutus. You know, mm. like that Disney thing. What's it called? Phantasm? Orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> Should we actually ask someone who knows what they're talking about? You must. We're bringing in the big guns. Guns? Bob! Willie won't know. Willie! <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Child. <laughs> I thought you'd have grown up since I sent you to medical school. You didn't send me to medical school. Well, I signed some sort of paperwork. Where did I send you? The medical room at school. No, it was me. She sent me on a first aid course. Oh. Did you meet anyone nice? Well, there was this woman called Annie, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to have legs first. I'm not sure why she was there. Well, oh, don't be ableist or armed. She went as a model or something. Was she okay? Hmm? Annie, was she okay? Was she okay, Annie? I don't know, she didn't really say a lot. <laughs> for fuck's sake, guys, I've been waiting in the wings for what seems like forever, and you three muppets haven't even got around to introducing this year's topic to the audience. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we have. It's the marriage of two homeless hippo lovers. What? 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 Oh. You said they lived in boxes. Right. No, I think you're talking about the Hippocratic Oath, right? Which is the vow a, a doctor makes to uphold specific medical standards. Confidentiality, for example, or non maleficence Oh, oh, she was in Sleeping Beauty. Give <laughs> <laughs> me strength. Look, this is a show about science and health, so it's not about Disney, all right? Science so it's health. not about hippos and grapes, then? What? <laughs> no, Hippocrates, Bob. Yeah? Hippocrates. He was an ancient Greek doctor. Well, come on, it's not nice to bring up his age, is it? No. <laughs> he was a very clever man who happened to come from ancient Greece. All right, like a hero of Alexandria or Galen. Who? Uh, sorry about this. It's going to take a while. Right, Bob, uh, hang on. You two, get off in the wings, get a sketch ready for the audience, all right? Make sure it's actually about science or health. All right, all right. Choo -choo -choo. Bob, take a seat. Hang on. Now, Wake up, Martin. The thing is... <laughs> Oi! Bob! What? Get back here and sit the fuck down! <laughs> Sit here, I'll keep an eye on you. Right. Hippocrates believed that the health of the human body was kept in order by the harmonious balance of four bodily fluids that your body's made up of, called the four humours. So humours. So that's humors. where the comedy comes in then, right? Yeah. I think I'm following. <laughs> and that's why there's four of us, yeah? Look, what is this though? actually got to do with science? Did this old boy invent something? Well, yeah, he invented the Hippocratic Oath. I just explained that. No, did these old Greeks invent something useful? Oh. Um, let me think. There was the Antikythera mechanism. Oh, yes. What, what's that the, do? The Antikythera mechanism. It's uh, like a, well, we're not really sure. It could have been like a clockwork moon tracker or something. No, they, uh, they, they couldn't really tell because it got all corroded. Why can't? Well, they ended up on the seabed for thousands of years after a, a shipwreck where all hands went down. Um, all Greeks wankers, then. What? <laughs> or there was, um, there was the Archimedes screw. In bed, bed or dance move. I what? reckon it'd be like, like, like... <laughs> Bob! <laughs> yeah. Bob, we haven't got time to get into that now, thank you. All right? Now, science and health have moved on a lot since then. Take the work of Dr. Snow on cholera or Jenna on inoculation. Well, I don't know nothing about that, but she has changed people's perspectives. Inspirational woman, or um, so I heard. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Jenna was a man. 
Yeah, I know she was a man. That's kind of a that's kind of a point in it. <laughs> Doctor Edward Jenner. He invented vaccination uh, to get rid of smallpox. That's good of him. By smearing people with cowpox pus. Right, so what? He swaps out this deadly disease and he replaces it with autism. That's what? fair enough, I suppose. I know which one I'm right. <laughs> Where did you get that from? A vaccination. <coughs> I read all about it online, www.vaccinesareval.com. I'll give up, you lot deal with him. <laughs> I really should have known Keith would be an expert on smallpox. <laughs> <laughs>